Previously, we explored file-based routing in Explorator and saw how we can create routes by adding files and folders to our app directory. This is great for static routes like about or profile, whose content is unlikely to change. But what if we need to create routes that are more dynamic in nature? Consider scenario three, where we're building a product catalog for an e-commerce app. When users tap on the products link in our app, they should see a list of products. However, when they tap on a specific product in that list, they should see details for that specific product. For example, tapping on the first product should display details about the first product. Tapping on the second product should display details about the second product and so on. This results in routes like slash products for the list and slash product slash one slash products slash two, etc. for individual products. In case of a web browser, the routes map to the same URL paths, making our app work seamlessly across both mobile and web platforms. Using what we've learned about file-based routing, you might think we could just create separate files or folders for each product. product-1.tsx, product-2.tsx, product-3.tsx, etc. But imagine having hundreds or thousands of products. Creating a separate file for each one would be impractical and a maintenance nightmare. This is where dynamic routes come in. Dynamic routes allow us to create parameterized paths that can handle a wide variety of content with just a single route definition. In Explorator, we can create dynamic routes by using square brackets in our file or folder names. So param.tsx or param and then slash index.tsx. The text inside the brackets becomes a parameter that we can access in our component. Let's dive into the editor and understand how this works by implementing scenario three. First, we'll create our products listing route. In the app directory, we'll create a folder called products and inside it, an index.tsx file. We will use the snippet rnfs to scaffold a new component. We'll call it product list component and update the text as well. We'll add container styles to center the text and apply the styles on the view component. Next, we'll import the link component from Expo Router to create links to individual product pages. So link href is equal to slash products slash one, and the text is product one. And similarly, slash product slash two and slash three for product two and three. We see a type header because we haven't created the product details route yet. Let's do that now. In the products folder, we'll create a new file with square brackets in its name, id.tsx. This tells Explorator that this is a dynamic route segment and ID is the parameter name. Here, we'll define a React Native component that displays the product details. In a real app, you can fetch the product details from an API and display those details. But for our example, we will just display the product ID on the screen. So RNFS to scaffold a new component. We'll call it product detail component and we'll add the container styles and apply it on the view component. The text will be details about product with ID. Now to access the ID parameter in the route, Explorator provides a hook called use local search params. Import it and invoke it in the component. This hook returns an object with all the parameters from the route and we will destructure the ID parameter. ID corresponds to the text inside the brackets in the file name. We'll render ID in the JSX. Finally, we'll add a link to the product list page from the home page. All right, time to test this feature. Press R to reload the app. And on your device, tap on the products link. You should see the products listing screen with links to individual product pages. Tap on any of the product links and you should see the product details screen with the product ID being displayed. Product one, go back, product two, go back, and product three. You can ignore the title at the top as that ID is configurable with the stack component. Now the same behavior works on the web as well. Click on the products link and you should see the product listing screen with links to individual product pages. Click on any of the product links and you should see the product details screen with the product ID. The URL will also update to reflect the product ID. With just two files, we've created a dynamic routing system that can handle any number of products.
Now it is worth noting that all parameters from use local search params are returned as strings, even if they represent numeric values. If you need to use them as numbers, you will need to convert them. Check the console and we see that ID is a string and numeric ID is a number. Dynamic routes are incredibly useful for a wide range of common application patterns. Product pages, blog posts, social media feeds, user profile pages, etc. are some of the many examples that can be handled with dynamic routes. The pattern is always the same. Use square brackets in your file or folder name to define the parameter, then access that parameter in your component using use local search params. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind is that since Explorer is built on top of React Navigation, Scree, Params, and Key are reserved words and cannot be used as dynamic route parameters. All right, let's move on to the next topic where we will learn about a special kind of dynamic route called a catch-all route.